Welcome back to the Literary History Channel. I'm your host, Janine Usarian-Speed. If you're like me, you may have wondered how the great chroniclers of the 1920s and the 1930s came up with their most powerful images. In this segment, we'll find out how F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway and William Faulkner came up with some of their most enduring phrases. Huh. She looked like... Her eyes were... She looked the way she... Damn it! What if? So you're trying to write a great American novel And you find a woman whom you must describe You can say it's a face before which men grovel But there are several cases where it really doesn't jive In speaking to an audience of great variety It's crucial to strike exactly the right note The expression must be recognized throughout society Which is why metaphorically A woman is a boat a woman, a woman is a boat. The most beautiful woman you've ever seen is a beautiful racing ship. The sexiest woman you've ever seen in your life is a schooner on its maiden trip. When you really want to turn them all on, there's a metaphor to always call on for literary giants such as we all hands on deck and by deck I mean me a woman is a boat a woman is I could a talk boat. about their looks boat. like only boat. I know how boat. but that's so unoriginal boat. and boat. ostentatious but saying boat. that my hands were on a starboard boat 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 Obsessed. The most beautiful woman you've ever seen is a beautiful racing ship. The sexiest woman you've ever seen in your life is a steamer on its main trip. You don't need to say you want to spoon her. You can just compare her to a schooner. In the original draft of Tender is the Night, every character was a boat. In the original draft of The Sound and the Fury, everyone was a sexy boat. The original draft of The Sun Also Rises was just about fucking boats.